Hey guys, welcome to the third session of the Easy Artist Classroom. Today, we're talking about inspiration. Okay, so inspiration. Where do you find it? Where do you get it from? How to use it. When you're looking for inspiration, there are about five things that you should try to use. Right? The first one is loved ones. Like, I've drawn a portrait of my girlfriend like two or three times. It's nice, it gives you something good to practice with because it's like you want to do it, you know? Unless you're a D-bag, then you don't want to do it. Then there's parents and family, you know? You can do drawings for like the family postcard kind of thing. You know, draw babies' faces for baby showers and things like that. Anyways, next, music. Music is not really like something that you draw, but you use it to help you draw. Think of it like this. When people smoke weed and then they say all, they can see all these crazy colors and stuff, music is your weed. You're gonna draw whatever you see. Close your eyes, listen to some music, draw it. And draw whatever you want. It doesn't have to be anything. Art is free form. Who cares? All right, the third thing is the world surrounding you. This is gonna be like the biggest one. You can draw literally anything you see. You can draw plants, cars, whatever you want. Like, it doesn't have to be an actual thing that you see. I used to walk through DC and I'd see like a shape in a build. Like on the wall, there'd be like all these bricks and stuff. When I got home and I drew it, it didn't come out like a building from like the colonial ages. It came out like a robot, you know? That, how do you think they made Transformers? My idea. All right, the fourth idea is draw things you like, you know, uh, anything you like. If you like hockey, draw some hockey sticks, hockey players, hockey gloves, hockey pucks, anything you like. If you like music, draw guitars, drums, whatever you want, you know, whatever you're interested in, find a way to draw. The last idea that I have today is create a character. You create a character, you know, pretty much out of anything. Look at Aunt Jemima, the bottle. You know, it's a freaking, like, person, but it's a bottle. Someone told them, come up with a bottle. Boom, put a person on that. What? That doesn't even make sense, but it works. It's also it's racist. Um, but yeah, you can make pretty much anything that you want. All right, I created this character. All right, here's a story. In Poland, they have these little like kid crossing signs on the street, and it's like a little girl holding a lollipop like this. And I was like, hmm. so I drew this. like that yeah um and also as far as drawing loved ones here's a drawing that my girlfriend drew of me i think it's pretty good for her uh, level check it out all right and drawing uh your surroundings and things you like um i used to read this book aragon and they had a cool dragon picture on the phone so i wanted to draw it so i did you know just take things from your surroundings and draw it here's a close-up of the picture that i drew You can also draw things that people have already drawn, like comics. I used to want to do a lot of comics drawing. I wanted to make a comic book. This is where I got one of the, um, where I got a lot of my, uh, inspiration. Inspiration. It's a Calvin and Hobbes comic. They're one of my favorite comics. And then lately I've decided, you know, I should go into more realistic drawing, things like landscapes, houses, just because it's got a little bit more status in the art world. But honestly, you can go far with either or. Either or? Either or. All right, well, those are the five uh, things. Let's go over them again. Uh, you can draw with inspiration from loved ones, music, the world, drawing things you like, and you can create a character. Those are just five ideas I have for you. I'm sure you can find like a billion more, okay? You can be inspired by anything you want to be, anything in the world. Sorry, but the camera turned back. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for you today. At the end of this video, I'll put on like a few pictures of the babies that I drew for um, a daycare and they paid me pretty well. We'll talk about getting paid for your art in a later video. Thank you for your homework. Leave in the comments something that inspired you to do a drawing this week or lately, you know, in class, like some like the hot chick in your class inspired you to draw some like dirty drawings. Even that, you know, I don't really care. Um, if you like this video and these classes, uh, go ahead and subscribe up top and leave a comment in the bottom. Uh, check the sub bar for contact information if you need to send me any fan art. My name is Jeremy Graves. I'm the Easy Artist and have a nice day guys.